hi guys welcome back to my channel i'm eki if you're new here you're welcome if you're an og thank you so much for returning today i'll be telling you the difference between a setting powder and a finishing powder if that sounds interesting then stay tuned while we get right into this video sorry guys for the most part of this video i'm going to be doing a voiceover i didn't know that my mic wasn't properly plugged to my phone so this two products is what i'm going to talk to you guys about on my left is a finishing powder and on my right is a setting powder from noban beauty so what a setting powder does is to help keep your highlighted areas in place while a finishing powder just help bring your makeup together and make it look like skin even though you have so much going on in your skin already so the noban beauty setting powder is a banana shade you can use a translucent powder just like this from s point and this also has a tint to it you can also use it to set the whole of your face but for me I'm going to concentrate today underneath the eyes or the highest point of your face so is it i use a beauty sponge or i use a concealer brush but for me i prefer using a beauty sponge and a damp one at that because this just help pick up the product properly and it also help apply the product well on the skin so i just tap that on the setting powder and i tap up the excess powder from it and just place that on the areas where i need to set you need to set the highlighted areas of your face because these are the areas that bring light to your face and setting the highlighted areas also help keep your makeup in place for a long time highlighting underneath your eyes or the highest point of your face just help awaken your skin other than leaving it flat at the end of your makeup Whew, so you mean after all this stress there's no volume in my video like i've been talking to myself <laughs> wonder next is the finishing powder like i said this is also from noban beauty this is in the shade 04 what finishing powder does it help blow your skin and also control oil you can also use a finishing powder without applying a foundation to your skin in case you haven't seen that video where i did a full face makeup without foundation i only use this um, it's a short content i also create short content here on youtube so i'll be leaving a card somewhere here so you go check that out this is how it looks like in the pan i intentionally added more blush to my skin because i wanted you to see the effect of a finishing powder it blows your skin it helps your makeup to stay in place a whole day if you use a finishing powder after your makeup it gives you that blurring effect that smooth effect look at this side i use the finishing powder you see how it tame the blush and the contour a finishing powder also helps cover demarcations that you might have when applying your contour highlight blush but this is the work of a finishing powder it just helps your makeup come together and look like skin even though <laughs> i have a whole lot already on my skin in this area of my nose the foundation did not um cover my pores the pores is still visible but after using the the finishing powder look at this side of my nose is looking blurred you've seen what you can use a finishing powder for and how it just changed your makeup game did i also tell you that finishing powder helps in light photography it helps you take good photographs without flashbacks so if you are that person that has been wondering what to do with a setting powder and a finishing powder today you've known the reason why you need those two products so if you love this video please give it a huge thumbs up leave a comment below and also don't forget to subscribe right here and ring the bell beside it so you don't miss new videos thank you so much for watching stay tuned stay blessed and stay beautiful till i come your way next time bye guys